Keep me in the back East. Hide me from, hide me from the rain again. My God is all mountains. He can move that mountain. Keep me in the valleys. Hide me from the rain. My God is all. Put your hands together. Give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. Amen. How many of y'all know God is awesome? Amen. He can move mountains. Amen. He can make a way out of no way. Amen. That's why I always say you ought to try Jesus. I hear somebody say he's all right. Amen. Amen. Give God another hand clap of praise. I was glad when they sent it to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Y'all ready to have a good time today? Amen. Y'all want to lift him up today? Amen. Has God done something for you this week? Has God done something for you this month? Has God done something for you this morning? Amen. Amen. And I come here to bless his name today. Amen. Because I realize can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Amen. Amen. Come on. Let's have a good time today. For this is the day that the Lord has made. And I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. If y'all happy today, let me see you smile through your mask today. Amen. We happy. Amen. As a Christian, you should be happy. Because you got joy that the Lord gave you, amen? And if God gave you that unspeakable joy, can't nobody take it away from you, amen? This time we have our scripture reading by Minister Beatty and our prayer by Minister Alexandra. Amen. Amen. Good morning, church. Good morning. Scripture, scripture reading will be coming from Jeremiah 29, 10 through... 13. For thus says the Lord, that after 70 years be accomplished at Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good word towards you in causing you to return to this place. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. 
Then shall you call upon me, and you shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And you shall seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. Amen. 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 The word of God for the people of God. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we come right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we come just to bless your name. Father, we come with thanksgiving in our lips, O oh God. And Lord, Father, we come just to give you praise, honor, and glory, for you are worthy to be praised. Father, if we had 10,000 tongues, we couldn't thank you enough. For you've been better to us, O oh God, than we've been to ourselves, O oh God. And for that, O oh God, we just want to say thank you. For every knee must bow and every tongue must confess. So, Father, today we're confessing that we need you. We can't make it without you. Lord, we ask that you create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit. Father God, we ask, God, that you just reign afresh in this place. We welcome you in here today, Lord God. For, oh God, if uh, we, we think about the things that we go through in our life, oh God, and, Lord, if it had not been for the Lord on our side, where would we be today? Lord, we pray for the ones that's on their way, Lord God, and we pray for every family that is represented here today, Lord God. We pray, God, that if anyone is lost, Lord, that you will just save them, God. We pray for the oppressed. We pray for the depressed, oh God. We bind up the enemy right now in the name of Jesus. Father, you said you was wounded for our transgressions, you were bruised for our iniquity, and the chastisement of our peace was upon you. And by your stripes, we are healed. So, Lord, we know that we have to speak these things to call them to be not as though they were, Lord God. Father, you said, ask and it shall be given. Seek and we shall find. Knock and every door shall be opened. Lord, open up our hearts today that we may hear what the Spirit is going to say to us today. Lord, we hadn't done everything right and pleasing in your sight. We ask that you forgive any of us for all of our sins, God. We're not perfect people, Lord, but we need you, God. Oh, Lord, we need your strength. We need your hope, Lord God. We need your joy, Lord God. We need your uh, peace, Lord God. You said if thou would keep thy heart and mind on you, you would keep us in perfect peace. Lord, we know that you are able to do it seemingly abundantly, above all that we could ever ask or think. And Lord, we just ask you to dwell in this place and be among us today. Remember the sick and the prison bound. Remember the bereavement family, Lord God. And we just give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. We ask that you just bless Minister Gillum today and give him that rhema word for your people. Use him in a mighty way. Lord, we pray that you bless the ones that at home looking, uh, tuning in today, God. Whatever their needs are, God. Help them to just know all they have to do is just ask. We know that you're the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And we are, we're just leaning and depending on you to see us through. We're casting our cares upon you because we know you care for us. You say you are that present help in the time of trouble. And Lord, you said man should not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. So God, we're just going to give you praise. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. The Bible speaks of a crown and our reward. And if we diligently seek him, he will bless us. When it's all over, I shall wear a crown.
It's all going to be over. Amen. amen. And we'll really start living. Amen. Amen. Again, we'd like to welcome each and every one of you here this morning. Our friends, our members, and our family, friends, and members. Amen. We're glad to have you. Happy birthday and anniversary to those celebrating anniversary. Amen. Happy birthday on today to my buddy. Amen. Brother Choke Ballinger. Amen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And all other March birthdays, today is the fourth Sunday. March birthdays, please stand. Amen. I know it was a couple. Amen. Amen. Ursula, Miss Doll. Amen. Deja. Brother Booker. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday to the March babies. Any anniversaries? Amen. No anniversaries in March. Amen. We ask you to keep those on our healing list in your prayers. Amen. God bless them. God heal them as only God can. Amen. But with us as brothers and sisters in Christ, we can pray for them. Amen. 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 Also keep all bereaved families in your prayers. Amen. Those whose loved ones have went home to be with the Lord. I realized, amen, that the few days after the passing, amen, it, it is tough. Amen, but you have so much company coming and so many phone calls coming in, amen. But when the phone calls stop and the visitors stop coming by, that's when that person really needs your prayers, amen. Amen, when they are sitting at home, amen, and just thinking about their love, amen. And all we got is the memories in our heart, amen. 
We all have been there before, each and every one of us. One of our loved ones have went home to be with the Lord. Amen. And if not, amen, keep on living. Amen. amen. Somebody that you love, somebody that you cherish. Amen. It's going to be going home to be with the Lord. Amen. Amen. On the third Sunday, well, let me say this first. I noticed last week and even today, amen, that we have a, a good amount of people in the house of the Lord. Amen. 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 <laughs> last week, amen, last Sunday, I attended a funeral for one of my good, good buddies, amen, his brother. Went home to be with the Lord. But in saying that he is a pastor, and there was a good bit of pastors there. Amen. And the few I talked to, amen, uh, he said, man, we had a, a good amount of people at church today. I said, we did too. Mm -hmm. Then I talked to my dad, amen, and he told me my home church did too. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was something, amen, that on two years ago, at this time, amen, every church was impacted. Amen. Every business, restaurants closed down. Amen. Because of this COVID. I thought it was very ironic, amen, that two years later, amen, people are starting to come back to amen. the church. Amen. amen. And I'm happy about it because I told y'all before it bothered me when I go, I went to a state championship game, amen, and it was 7,500 people on Gaffney's side alone. Shoulder to shoulder. Amen. Amen. I think we all in here have been to a restaurant. Amen. And now restaurants got waiting lists again. And they ain't skipping every table like they would. Amen. And I'm not saying that, amen, to say. But all I'm saying is the Bible tells us that God didn't give us a spirit of fear. Amen. But a power, love, and a sound mind. And I pray that us as God's children use our sound mind. And start back going to the house of praise like we once did. Amen. amen. It's my desire, to, amen, that one day our mask can come off. And I know y'all's pain because when I don't preach, I try to wear one. Because I don't expect y'all to do something that I wouldn't do. I got two in my pocket. Amen. <laughs> amen. But uh, uh, it's my desire that one day, amen, we can get back to somewhat like we were. Amen. But in saying that, I talked to my good friend. Reverend Kevin Allen, sorry. Yeah, that is his name, Reverend Kevin Allen, who's the pastor of Mount Alexandria Baptist Church. Amen. And, and also with Reverend Sterling Hill, who is the very fine pastor of the Cedar Grove Baptist Church. And we have decided that on the third Sunday, which is Easter Sunday, we are going to have sunrise service. Amen. 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 Reverend Hill is going to be the speaker. No way. And New Prospect, we're going to be the host. Now, I did tell him, man, we may not be eating no breakfast. I don't know. I don't know because our kitchen is closed. But the main thing is that the bread of heaven is open. Amen. Amen. So on the third Sunday, sirs and ma'ams, we will have our sunrise service uh, with Cedar Grove Baptist Church and my Alexandria Baptist Church beginning at 7 a.m. Amen. Amen. 7 a.m. Also... And we just want to put the emphasis on our uh, Facebook and YouTube, uh, New Prospect Baptist Church dash uh, For those of you who may not have Facebook, uh, most of all of us now have access to the internet, and uh, our media team does a great job of getting our service up on uh, uh, on YouTube, usually within an hour after service ends. So, if you're sitting at home during the week and you Felt like, hey, we had a great time, which for about the last six weeks, we've been having a real good time. Real good time. God's spirit has really dwelled in this place. Amen. And, and, and you want to revisit uh, that, amen, you can just get on YouTube and put in New Prospect Baptist Church in a re, and it'll pop up. You'll see me or one of these very fine ministers usually, and just click on it and go from there. Also, our mailing address, P.O. Box 608. Uh, Woodruff, South Carolina, 29388. And also our cash app is the dollar sign NPBC 6801. Amen. Saying all that, y'all do know that uh, not only our, our sunrise service is coming up, but uh, 
our first Sunday in May is our church anniversary. We will celebrate 136 years Amen. of God shining his light on the New Prospect Baptist Church. And again, we are asking every member, not every household, but every member, sirs and ma'am, to please give a dollar for every year. That's $136. And I told y'all before, if you can't give $136, $135.99 will do. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Also, second Sunday we will, in May, we will honor our mothers. And on the third Sunday in May, we will celebrate our Women's Day. And the very fine Reverend Patricia Jones will be our special guest. Amen. 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 God bless you. Heaven forever smile upon you. Get a quiet. Oh, sorry. We got a visiting. I got you. We got a, a guest minister today. When he walked through the door, I told him, thank you, Jesus. The guest minister showed up this time. Amen. 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 It's my very own minister, Julius Boot Gillum. Amen. One, amen, who's a great man, who's a friendly man, one who loves the Lord and loves God people. Amen. amen. So after the choir blesses us, the next voice you will hear will be Minister Boot Gillum. Amen. Amen. Miss Bet Jeta. Amen. Amen. Miss Bet Jeta. Amen. 55 years. Amen. Amen. Now, now, Miss Sharon. We have no responsibility or liability for what she may say or do to you when church is over. Amen. Amen. I seen how she looked at you. <laughs> Don't do that, Miss Bet. Amen. Amen. But God bless you and your husband. That is a wonderful, wonderful 55 years. Amen. Amen. Get a quiet hand clap.
church say amen. 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 amen and amen. amen. Is God truly your everything? Yeah. He's your joy and sorrow. Yeah. He's your hope for tomorrow. Yeah. God is my everything. Yeah. My brother and my sister, let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we come to you at this moment and at this hour saying thank you for all things because you have been there for us down through the years until this very moment and we say thank you. We thank you that you allowed us to come out to this appointed place and to worship you, to give you the glory, the honor, and the praise that do to your holy name. We ask and pray that you forgive us of all our sins, our iniquities, our transgression the errors of our ways and even our thought process, anything that's not like you. We ask and pray that you take it away from our thought process and out of our mind and out of our heart, Lord. And we bless you and we praise you for your attribute. You've been patient with us. You've been kind and merciful, long-suffering, gentle, and we thank you for that. But most of all, you've been loving. So you so loved us that you gave your only begotten son. You said, who should ever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And we thank you, Jesus, that you came down through those 42 generations and died on that cross for our sin. That you went to that grave in our stead, but you rose up on that third day with all power in your hand. So now, Jesus, give me the words to say to your people and that we apply it to our life, that we be more like Christ and less like ourselves. These things we ask and pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. Amen. To our pastor and to first lady and the ch children there absent. To the deacon, to the trustees, mm -hmm. to the deaconess, to the choir, yeah. to my wife, Amen. who is the apple of my eye. I thank God for this opportunity to stand behind the sacred desk and to give God the glory, the praise, and all the glory that is due to him. If you will, turn your Bible to the book of Luke. Luke. The eighth chapter. Now, this book of Luke, who is called a physician, it talks about a woman who had an issue of blood. But she knew Jesus a little more than that. Because she said in her word, but if she could just touch the hem of his garment, Amen. that she could be made whole. Amen. And we begin reading our, doing our reading at the 40, 843. You have to say amen. amen. And it reads as follows. And a woman having an issue of blood 12 years, which had spent all her living upon physician, neither could be healed of any, came behind him and touched the border of his garment, and immediately her issue of blood stenched. And Jesus said, Who touched me? When all denied Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude throng thee and pressed thee and said, Thou who touched me? And Jesus said, Somebody have touched me, for I perceive that virtue is gone out of me. And you may be seated. I would like to use for a subject, <clears throat> believe it or not, I believe. Amen. Believe it or not, I believe. Nelson Dictionary describes defines faith as a belief in or a confident attitude toward God involving commitment to
to his will for one's life. Nelson also says that belief is to place trust in God's truth. A person who believes in one who takes God at his word and trusts him for salvation. Amen. Belief and faith is like a train mm -hmm. on a track. Yes. There are two sides to the track and they both are needed for the train to safely make it to its destination. Mm -hmm. Faith and belief is not something you can see. It's like electricity. If you stick your finger in an electric outlet, you may not see it, but you will know it's there. Uh, it say we walk by faith and not by sight. You know, a lot of times people perceive that them having eyes that they could see. But you know, people have eyes and they see not. Ears have they and they hear not. But it's different when it comes to God. You know, it tells us in Genesis, in the beginning was the word. Uh, tell us that there was word. It wasn't nothing made without God speaking. He spoke everything into existence. But when you go over to John, it tells us that Jesus was the word. Mm -hmm. He was the word that was from the foundation of the world. Mm -hmm. So I believe that this here is my Bible, Amen. that it is inspired by means of God, Amen. that I could do what it says I could do, and I am who God says I am. In reality, I am a sinner saved by grace. Amen. I'm a sinner saved by grace, and it's not that about works that any man should boast. Mm -hmm. uh, some people confess that they are a self-made millionaire. Amen. They are a self-made man or a self-made woman. I hope they stay that way. <laughs> Not by, by themselves, but by what God have made them to be. Amen. Pastor told us last week the, the need that God have for some good men Amen. and women. That's where we should be. We should be the kind of person that believe the word of God and from the beginning to the end. Amen. He said, I am Alpha and Omega. Amen. So that means that he's not at two different entities, not at two different times, but all at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's like you're going to a Christmas parade. Mm -hmm. You might take and hear the band before we get there. Mm -hmm. And then you might take and hear the drum roll. But you don't see nothing but the part that's right in front of you at that time. Amen. And after the sound has gone a little further, you can still hear it for a while. But then after that, the sound is gone. But God sees the whole parade at the same time. He sees the beginning, and he sees the middle, and he sees the end. Amen. And you know, it won't be just like if you was a Jeremiah, the saying that you are too young. And because God knows you, he made you. He knows who your biological father will go be and your mother. He knows where your geographical location will go be, if you will be in Spottenberg, Greenville, Gaffney, or wherever it might be. It, it, it is he that have made this world. Amen. And they say the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Yes. The gold and the silver on 10,000 hills belongs to him. Yes, you know, so everything belongs to God. Mm -hmm. So I started studying this Bible and then I came across certain characters. And uh, I found out later on that as we see our Bible today, we see Genesis, we see Deuteronomy, all the what they call the five, the first five books of the Bible that Moses penned it. Yes, but then that wasn't the first book that really was written. You know, because Job is one of the oldest books in the Bible. Mm -hmm. And Job was a man that lived in the land of us. He said he was an upright man. One who was shrewd evil. He stayed away from it. He tried to cover all his track. He prayed for his children and, and, and all ten of them. And then we know the story how Job took his loss 
his children, how he lost his possession, he lost his health. And then his wife told him, say, hey, why don't you just curse God and die? He told him, say, though he may slay me, yet will I trust him. And that is the trust that we supposed to have. Though that we might take and sometime go through trials and tribulation that we know go happen. Because I don't care how righteous you think you are. You're going to have some trials and tribulation. You're going to have some ups and you're going to have some downs. You're going to have some mountaintop experiences and you're going to have some valleys. You're going to have some hills to climb. But through it all, God has never left you. He never has forsaken you. He'll be there by your side. Even when your mother or father forsake her, or your brother or your sister, God will be there to take you up. Even when you are weak, he is strong. He multiplies. Is his strength magnified. So give him the praise. But if we see now, if you had an issue of anything, and we all have some issues. It might not be an issue with your blood, but you might have an issue with your family. You might have an issue with your child. You might have an issue with your, your job situation. You might have an issue with even your transportation. But whatever the issue might be, there is a way to get out of it. God said he didn't never give us any temptation that we don't have a way of escape. And we didn't have no escape because if I were to try to get Moses, he might use for an excuse and say that he cannot talk plain. But God is the one that controls even our speech. If you pray to him and let the Holy Ghost lead you and direct you in everything you say and or do. And we have issues. Sometimes we have health issues. But I look back on my life and all the things I have been through that I can say, Lord, it was your grace that brought me safe this far and grace will lead me on. Through many dangers, toils and snares, I've already come. But this woman, she had an issue of blood. But she spoke it before she got there. She had this belief and trust in God. That she said, but even if I could just touch the hem of his gun, I'll be made whole. And she pressed her way. She pressed her way through it. It might not have been easy. easy. It couldn't have been easy because it said it was a lot of people around her. And then she touched the hem of God, his garment, and she got maybe back to the side because she's a little afraid. So it says that he said, who touched me? And they said, his disciples said, Lord, with all these people around here, anybody could have bumped into you or something. Maybe they didn't say excuse me or something. Have you ever had anybody do that with you? Amen. They bumped into you. But they, I had a guy one time stepped on my toe. I was scared to tell him he did. <laughs> Military do you like that, brother, daddy, man. But I learned to say it. Somebody stepping on my toe to learn to say that, excuse me, sir, you're stepping on my toe. You know, and then we turn around and we say we love God whom we ain't never seen. And then you hate your fellow man that you see every day. He said you are lying and the truth ain't in you. Why do we do things like that? You know, if you say that if you've got a fault with your brother and pastor, you're supposed to go to your brother and be reconciled to him. Even if you have brought a gift to the altar, you're supposed to leave it there and be reconciled and come back. Amen. But we'll get on the telephone or the telephone, Facebook, Instagram, or whatever all y'all be using. I don't use it. It be by like it be by like when they used to have them flip phones. I had four of them. Could never hardly get him to work, no way. Somebody asked my brother for my phone number. He said he got four, but ain't no need to call him. He ain't gonna answer now one of them. That's about the truth. So whatever you have, take it to the Lord in prayer. Don't be like uh, Martha was. Say, Lord, don't you care that, that, that I'm doing all this work? And then Mary sitting there at the feet of Jesus needing the, the thing that they need. We need to hear from God. And that's what Mary was doing. But Martha needed some help in the kitchen committee maybe. <laughs> Whatever it was. 
But she said, don't you care that? And then it turned around. He loved all of them. But they had a brother by the name of Lazarus. He had died. But then as Lazarus died, he told him, you'll see your brother again. We'll see him. You'll see him in the resurrection. You know, she said, he said, but I am the resurrection. I am the truth, the resurrection, and the life. Nobody come to the Father but by me. So, yes, you've got to trust in God. Why do you trust in God? First of all, you trust in him with all your heart. Amen. Lean not to your own understanding. But in all your ways, the knowledge him first. And he will die your, direct your path. Amen. So prayer is a way that you can touch God. Amen. You can touch him by your prayer life. If you don't believe it, look at Hezekiah. He was a man that would go to die. And he went and turned his face to the wall. And he said, Lord. And he praised the Lord. And the Lord gave him 15 more years. So when I turned 70, y'all, I know what I said to the Lord. I said, Lord, I'm offering up my Hezekiah prayer. I'm offering up a prayer to you. You have gave me 70 years, but I'm asking for 15 more. So I know that even when this coronavirus was coming around, out, people were talking about vaccine. You go to the great physician, that's Jesus Christ, and you tell him, Lord, I know that you took care of leprosy back in them days, that you took it turned water to wine, that you gave recovery to sight to the blind, that you healed the lame, that you walked on this earth, yes. that you died for our sin, yes. and not just my sin, yes. but sin of the whole world. Yes. So now we're going along and you hear wars and wars and rumors of war. Yes. He said, but you can have peace. Peace not that man give it, but peace of God yes. that surpasses all understanding. Yes. Believe it or not, I believe. Yeah. You know, it, it, it even one time it said there was a, these two guys were talking, and one of them said, you know, I believe everything that's in the Bible. He said, you believe everything in the Bible? He said, yes, I do. He said, I believe. Do you believe that Jonas was swallowed up by a fish? Uh -huh. He said, yes, I believe that. Then the guy said, well, do you believe? He said, yes, I believe it. He said, well, if you believe that, what you going to do if you get to heaven and, and Jonah ain't there? He said, then you can ask him when you get where you going. <laughs> Y'all get that when you get home. <laughs> heaven and hell is real places. Amen. You got to believe it. So a disciple was talking about in time like this, when we look around, and there's war going over uh, overseas, and, and, and if there's wars going on within people's household, among his own people. Mm -hmm. But guess what? All of that go change. Amen. When Christ come back to receive us unto himself, mm -hmm. you know, we just sung a song, we go wear a crown. They say, but when you get to heaven, you go take that crown and you go place it at Jesus' feet. Amen. Because there's going to be a Amen. crown. Give it to those that have kept his commandment. It's the one that done what thus said the Lord. So I believe that with all my heart. I believe that I am the head and not the tail. I believe that it's greater that he's in me than he's in the world. He told me to put the devil under my feet. I believe it, I believe it, and I receive it. I believe that one of these days, yes, we're going to take and see him face to face. And I'll be known as I am known. You may look at me and think that you know me. But sometimes I tell people that I don't know myself at times. Because Paul said, the thing that I should be doing, I find myself not doing sometimes. And the thing I should be doing, I'm not doing. It's the same way with us. We are to visit the, the widows and the true widows indeed. We are to take it. Help those that need help. We ought to pray for each other. We ought to pray without ceasing. And I don't care what you say or what you might believe. I know this for a fact. I believe. I trust in Jesus. And not in my own ability. I trust in him. And walk without your holding my hand. The mountain doors of the church are open. High. 
You may come however the God is laying on your heart. To lie down on my knees that my hand to stand. Lord, I can't even walk without you holding my hand. Oh, Faith comes by hearing. Here it comes by the word of God. Without you holding. The preacher just spoke. The believe it or not, I believe. And the valleys to wide. If you believe today, if you haven't given your life to Christ, we ask you to please come. Because tomorrow isn't promised. I can't be. Without you holding my hand. Those desire in prayer. I can't even walk without you holding my hand. The mountains are wide and the Any prayer request? Amen. Aaron Donaldson and his family. Gillum family. Yes. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Heavenly Father, Lord, as once again we come calling on your name. God, as we come with our heads bowed in the locks of our shoulder, standing at the altar, God, just a few of your children who believe it or not. God, we believe. God, we believe in the power of prayer. Father, we believe that you're still sitting on a throne with all power in your hand. So, God, that's why we must remember that we always must look to the hills from which cometh our help. All of our help comes from you. Dear God, Lord, you have heard the prayer requests. God, one's going in for procedures, God, bereaved families in the hospital. Have mercy on them. Stop by and see about them, Father. Because, God, Lord, we know, God, that when you stop by, a change has to happen. Lord, we've seen you do it before. God, we've seen situations where the doctor shake his head. Where the doctor say there's nothing else we can do for you. But then our doctor stops by. And he makes everything all right. God, right now, somebody needs you to stop by and make everything all right. God, right now, somebody's body is racking with pain. God, right now, somebody has tears in their eyes. Right now, God, Lord, they may can't say a word, but God, Lord, they can just look up and look to you. Father God, Lord, we come praying for them. God, Lord, they need a healing in their body. 
Lord, we need a healing in the land. God, we don't love each other like we used to. God, we don't serve you like we used to. Lord, we need a healing in the land. Because, God, Lord, you told us, God, that if my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then we can hear from heaven. And then you'll heal the land. God, Lord, we got to learn how to leave that bad stuff alone. God, we got to learn how to leave sin alone. Because, God, we realize that separates us from you. God, Lord, we all just want to closer walk with thee. So, God, Lord, we pray that as the days go by and the weeks go by, the months and the years, God, we become stronger in our faith. God, we become better in serving you. Because, God, what we do in our job, it don't matter. God, Lord, what we do here, there, everywhere, it don't matter. But only what we do for Christ will stand. How we love our family, how we love our fellow man, how we love our church family and serve in your house. God, that's what's going to matter. Too many times, God, we get caught up in recognition. Too many times, Father, we get caught up in putting plaques on the wall. But God, all we want is our name wrote down in the book of life. That's all we seeking, God. That's all we searching for, Father. It's some recognition from you. That God, Lord, we pray that you continue having mercy upon your people. God, Lord, we pray that us here at the New Prospect Baptist Church, God, we always keep our eye on you. Knowing that your eye is always on the sparrow. And you are always watching over us, Father. That God, Lord, I pray, God, Lord, that we always stay humble. God, I pray, God, that we continue loving each other as you have loved us. Because, God, believe it or not, God, we believe. And it's just to feel your believers assembled here today. Knowing that God, God, can do anything but fail. Knowing that our God is able. Knowing that our God is righteous. Knowing that our God is powerful. Knowing that our God grants us grace and mercy. God, we thank you today. God, we love you today. God, Lord, we pray you forgive us for our sins and our wrongdoing and our shortcomings. God, Lord, we pray, God, God, that we always remember that we must keep you first. God, if we keep you first, God, it'll keep us on the right path. God, we love you. And as we always say, God, you'll always be our God. And we'll forever be your people. In Jesus' name we pray, all God's children said, Amen. 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 Oh, you brought me through this. You brought me through. Thing to be grateful for. Amen. Matter of fact, you can't even count your blessings. Amen. They are more than can be numbered. Amen. But
But remember, and no one else do it, you believe that God is God, and that he is a reward of those that diligent seek him. Amen. Thank you, God. In the book of Jude, most time you hear people quote it at the end of a service. They say, now to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with the exceeding joy. To the only wise God, Savior, be glory and power and dominion and power forever. Let us pray. Our Father, I pray that the words of my mouth and the meditation of, your, of my heart be accepted in your sight. Because you are my everything. And I believe that you are Alpha and Omega. That when I need you, you're there for me. And I thank you for it. Thank you. Thank you get ready to leave this place, but never your presence. We ask and pray that you continue to be with us. Keep us through the dangers. Seen and unseen. It is in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Um.